Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Ash and today we're going to see if alt characters are totally worth it or not. I wanted to give you the reason that made me practically make an alt character as well as a nice tip on how to maximize your alt characters. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. First, let's talk about alt characters. These are characters that you can create on the server or data center that you choose. You can have up to 8 on your exact same server, for example, 8 on Goblin, or you can have 1 on each data center, ergo completely new data center. Some of you might be asking why you'd want to create an alt. One of the many wonderful things about Final Fantasy XIV is that you can literally create one character and complete the entire game. No alt required. Well, there is one basic reason to create an alt that I kept coming by, and that is to play with different friend groups. But can I just play with friends with my main character? Yeah, true, you could, but I found a lot of people want to be in an FC with their friend, and for that you need to be on the same data center and server in order to join their FC. So this can be one of the reasons for creating that second character. The more obvious second reason is glamour. An overwhelming majority of players don't want to compromise their main character's glamour, which I mean by they don't want to use a Fantasia potion, which allows you to change the race or anything about that character every time since that does cost real life money. So instead of using a Fantasia every time, they just have different alt characters that cost them no extra money that they can play on. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, these first two reasons don't apply to me. I have found the third reason far more practical. I want to clarify by saying that I play Final Fantasy full time and no other MMOs. Since I create videos for Final Fantasy XIV, I assume I'm going to be playing for a long time. For me, the only reason I have alts are for retainers. I have 9 retainers that I purchase every month. Don't judge me, I know it's a lot. I know most people only have 2 that you get for free and some even have the 10 where you pay for the extra one by purchasing the companion app for $5 a month. But I will explain myself now. When you create an alt, that alt also gets 9 retainers for no extra fee. Your first thought coming through your head right now is probably like, but yeah, I have to level that alt up and retainers and gear them and get ventures. Is it really worth it? I would say that if you purchase the nine retainers already, then you're probably already committed enough to get an alt and do the same thing. Honestly, I am so glad that I went ahead and did this as I just finished leveling my alt through the end game, just almost done, and have all my retainers almost about level 80. I believe about 78, 80 by the time this video is posted. The amount of materials alone that I'm able to get even during the level up phase is just astounding. Also, I did this over time and played a little bit every day on my alt, not all at once. This made it far more manageable to do and I didn't really get burnt out. But now that I'm finally finished leveling the alt, it will pay off for coming months, even years. It's like once you finish, you just have to keep maintaining it. For this particular alt, I just did a battle class for all of my retainers, but I really want to do two other alts to also have all 9 botanist and all 9 miner. I know I'm a little crazy. Now that you know how crazy I am, let's talk about strategy. If you think about it, leveling up an alt is far less stressful than playing on your main character. I only needed to focus on getting through the story and leveling the retainers. Here are a few things that I unlocked in order to get the most out of my alt and what you should do too. Of course I unlocked glamours, dyes, and melding. Glamours and dies for the obvious reason of wanting to have a semi-decent looking character as I played through the story. Melding I know is a little out there, but as I was playing through with White Mage, looking back, I probably would have done this with the tank instead, so I ended up melding spell speed in order to make it go by a little bit quicker. The other reason why I did White Mage or probably a tank in the future is just for the Q times as you're playing through the story. One of the initial problems that you probably see is having to gear your character as you're leveling up. I just got gear as I was leveling up through dungeons or bought a few off the market board. After level 50 though, you can gear using Poetics. I created a video so you can see what that would look like and I will link it down below and a card up above. This makes it far easier to level while going through the story and getting Poetics when you're playing dungeons instead of having to purchase gear and waste money on that. 
The other key factor that you need to unlock to make this really profitable is Grand Company Expert Deliveries. This is where you can turn in dungeon gear for seals. This makes it easy to accumulate seals when you're done to keep up on your ventures for the alt character. This didn't take a lot of time, more just tedious if anything, and requires you to unlock your Grand Company ranks. But again, like I said, it doesn't take very long if you just spend an hour or two on it to unlock. Now that I have everything set up and maxed out, I can simply just log in and choose what I need and collect for the rewards. I do have alts on the same server, Goblin, and that is so then I can invite them to the same free company. I had my boyfriend invite each character. You'll need a third person to do this, so if you have a friend to help you out, that'll be better. Once they're all in the same FC, I can just use the FC chest to deposit and change items between them. I know a lot of people who actually keep their alts on different servers in order to access different market boards, but for me, the practicality of this is able to get the items from my alts to my main character at any time with ease. So with this all done, I can just start reaping in rewards, selling things on market boards, and stocking materials for all of my 8 crafters that I have maxed out. I am completely utilizing my alts and looking forward to more. Again, this is over time, and if you're going to be playing Final Fantasy for a long time like me, then I give this a thumbs up on having alt characters. Thanks for watching, and let me know down below if you guys have alt characters and how many. I'll see you guys in my next video.